What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're going to be talking about what are super troops and are they even worth it? Welcome back to the channel for another episode. Today we're going to be talking all about super troops. It seems that some people don't even know what super troops are or how to get them or how to use them. So we're going to be covering that here today. So I had this interesting interaction with Travis here in the comment section the other day. Uh, I believe this was on the Fix That Rush video. He said, so at level 8 do the goblins just become invisible when you drop them? And I had to explain that you have to make them into super troops. And I think we forget sometimes that with Clash of Clans being a little bit of an older game going on 9 years now, there's a lot of new players Coming to the game which is great that means the game is healthy but people don't really know the basics such as super troops i'm not going to go into crazy detail about how to get every single super troop or anything like that but we'll cover the basics about super troops and talk about if they're even worth using like should you use super troops because they do have a cost associated with them so the first thing you need to know is that super troops unlock at town hall 11. as soon as your town hall upgrades to town hall 11 there'll be a new building up here on the top left side over by the trader and this building is going to allow you to unlock super troops. Now, at Town Hall 11, you can't get every single super troop, but you'll be able to get a handful of them. And which super troops you're able to unlock is directly tied to your level of troops. So as a new Town Hall 11, you're going to have to make some upgrades. And honestly, one of the most important upgrades at Town Hall 11 is goblins because the sneaky goblins are so great for farming. We'll talk about that a little bit later. So if memory serves me right, I believe you can get the barbarians, the archers, the goblins, and wall breakers at Town Hall 11. And the wall breakers are really nice also, but again, you have to have that level seven wall breaker. So you see right here, we can't actually get this super wall breaker because our wall breaker is not upgraded, right? But if we go over to our laboratory and then we upgrade our wall breakers here with our hammer of fighting, now the super troop version will be unlocked. So that's how you do it. You literally just upgrade the troops to the proper level, level required. And the cool thing about super troops is even at Town Hall 11, even though you can't get them, you can try them. So even though we can't get like the super witches or whatever, we can still try them out here. That's a really cool thing that lets you test and kind of see what you're going to get in the future with that try button. So that's a really nice thing about the super troops, but are they worth it? That's a big question. Are the super troops worth it? And there's not a direct yes or no. Unfortunately, there's not. Yes, every single super troop is worth some super troops are worth it, some aren't. You'll notice like people using different techs. For instance, troops like the Super Barbarian, Super Giant, Super Archer, kind of. She's getting used a little bit. They don't really get used at all. Like it, they're just not really something super useful. Same with like the Super Valkyrie. Now, troops like the Ice Hound, uh, the Super Witch, they'll be used here and there. You'll see a lot of super minions on defense. Inferno Dragons are really powerful at like Town Hall 13. Super Wizards are really nice, like especially with the invisibility spell at Town Hall 12. Town Hall 13 with the Super Go Wee Wee. And then your basics like the Sneaky Goblin and your Super Wall Breaker are really going to be the bread and butter of Super Troops. And what makes Super Troops unique is their special ability. If you see right over there, his special ability is Cloak. He's invisible to defenses for the first five seconds. Now, this does come off with a trade-off of a little bit more housing space and a little bit more training costs. So, one Sneaky Goblin costs three housing space, whereas a regular Goblin is one, and then they're a little bit more to train. And also, you have to pay the 25,000 Dark Elixir. So, that's where it comes in. Is it worth it with Sneaky Goblins? it's always worth it. And another thing to note is that you can actually boost two super troops at the same time now. So now that we have the super wall breakers unlocked, we can actually go ahead and boost the wall breakers up to regular wall breakers. And the cool thing is they changed it. So now you can use the regular version and the super version. So you see that we can use regular wall breakers and we can use super wall breakers now. We can use regular goblins and super goblins. And that holds true for all super troops. You can use regular witches with super witches. And that's actually a really strong strategy that's been coming in. So that's a big change that was made to the super troops. And a quick fun fact, the troops actually go from the barracks to the super troop hut, turn into super troops, and then go to the army camps. So I guess the biggest question around super troops, is it worth that 25,000 dark elixir? Like I said, for sneaky goblins, every single time so remember one sneaky goblin is the equivalent of three regular goblins because it takes three housing space uh and the training costs and all that kind of stuff but think of it as one sneaky goblin equals three regular goblins so what we're going to do right here and the one thing that's always a pain is like the splash damage we're going to put in three regular goblins and i'm even going to go away from the wizard tower we'll go one two three right here and we'll just see if they can get this out by themselves with regular defenses Look at that. They can't get it. However, one sneaky goblin, even with the wizard tower there, one sneaky goblin is going to get this down by himself. 
and that's where the value comes in. The sneaky go look, he even went over there and smacked the other one. The sneaky goblins are always going to be great because they're going to go in and one sneaky goblin will take out one gold mine or one collector. And literally all you do is you just go around the outside like this and just throw it in. And with this, we'd have to go probably like, what, four or five regular goblins? Now with the mortar there, that's going to be painful. But what is, yeah, five regular goblins just to safely get that down but with the sneaky goblin just one right in there now we need to get into this base here's the difference between the wall breakers and the regular wall breakers so with the uh, super wall breakers it's four to one because it's eight housing space compared to two so we got to go one two three four uh which we should get in there that's a pretty weak wall and they go over there they try to weaken the other wall but the nice thing with this wizard tower it, or, yeah, with Wizard Towers, that's what I'm trying to say. It can be a little tricky, but with the the Super Wall Breaker, you literally just throw it in, and no matter what, they're going to blow up with their full power. They did make a change to the regular Wall Breakers, where they're still going to blow up even if they get destroyed, uh, but you notice it's not the full explosion there, so you can still break a wall, but... When you're really doing like powerful war attacks, especially like queen walks and stuff, the super wall breakers are going to come in really nice. And honestly, uh, since I usually have them boosted for war, I really like pairing them up with the sneaky goblins. So we got to get a move on here because there's only one minute left in this attack. Uh, just trying to demonstrate and show you guys things. But check this out, man. Uh, if you pair up the sneaky goblins with the super wall breakers you're just gonna have an amazing time farming uh let's just throw that in there let's throw this one i'm always worried about dark elixir that's always what i'm looking for when i'm farming all right let's go like that let's go like that uh we do have this open let's go king queen warden through here all right nice and then we can even get to the center of the base oh this is gonna be tricky with not a lot of time uh let's go like so all right go 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 we gotta go we gotta go we gotta go we don't have time we don't have time <laughs> and then you can even make them invisible again oh just kidding we 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 missed a little bit all right guys we gotta move we gotta move all right so up the middle up the middle uh and then i like to pair them with like a heal spell and a rage spell in the, the core of bases uh just to get through there get the dark elixir and then we can get the town hall it's much easier to get the town hall with the sneaky goblins oh no we missed a little bit of dark elixir well that's okay you kind of get the idea that i'm getting at right that's the value of using super troop and then when you get up to town hall 12 and get your laboratory upgraded and get those certain troops upgraded you actually be able to unlock every single super troop so you'll be able to get them all at town hall 12 but only a select few at town hall 11 and like i said some are better than others but remember you can go in there and you can press that try button and try them out at any given time and then we also have the super potions which will actually allow you to boost without spending the twenty-five thousand dark elixir so that's something to keep in mind when using the super troops so it all circles back to the question are super troops worth it and for me yes and no it really just depends on what super troop you're using and what you're using them for for me sneaky goblins are always going to be worth the twenty-five thousand dark elixir because even if you're just finding like five thousand dark elixir raids and as long as you're getting all or most of that dark elixir you're going to make that 25k back and then you're going to be able to farm really easily for the next three days so sneaky goblins are always going to be worth it the super wall breakers if you're using ground attacks they're usually going to be worth it. It really just depends on what you're doing in Clash of Clans. Not all super troops are going to be worth it. And some are going to be more worth it than others. It really just depends like how you're going to use them. What your intentions are. Are you learning attacks? Are you trying... Sometimes you will waste Dark Elixir with them. That's going to happen. That's a natural thing with the, the Super Troops. But you can always make it back. And the nice thing is, is we can make two troops up to Super Troops nowadays, which is really, really awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my Sneaky Goblins to farm out on this account and just kind of work in. And you notice two Sneaky Goblins there on the storage. Uh, well, they're a little bit further away. But a two to three is usually pretty good to take down a storage depending on location. And then we can just work through here. We could even use our Super Wall breaker like i said if you have super wall breakers boosted up for like war attacks or whatever use them with your sneaky goblins and then once i have all this loot around the outside check this out we're just gonna send this blimp in we're gonna we're gonna go with the yay of a blimp all right eating the blimp in guys eating the blimp in check that out warden ability just to get the blimp in that's a dirty play right there oh that's a tornado trap oh that's 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 kind of rude but that's fine don't worry about it check me out we got we got super wall breakers bro uh that's not gonna work that's all right look we'll, we'll make it happen we'll make it happen all right look here we go uh queen i'm gonna clear out a little bit of this we just need a little bit of this cleared queen all right all right nice 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 oh i think it's that bow that bow's in the way 
but I do have jump spells I could have used. Uh, so let's go ahead and work in here. With the Sneaky Goblins, you'll also be able to get to the Town Hall a lot easier. So when you're farming, you'll be able to uh, not fail so much, and you'll be able to keep your trophies up. And look at that. We literally drained this base of all of the loot with the Sneaky Goblins. I mean, who's going to complain about 700,000, 700,000, and 7,400 Dark Elixir? It's pretty nice games, right? Now, one thing I want you to keep in mind with the Super Troops also, I just happened to think of this because it's Clan Games Week. Uh, the Super Wall Breakers aren't going to work for the regular Wall Breaker one. So that's something to keep in mind. It'll say specifically to use that Super Troop, like the Ice Hounds or whatnot. So that's something to keep in mind with the clan game so hopefully this video is really helpful for you guys learning about the super troops and if they're even worth using uh let's go ahead let's get some upgrades going here at the end of the video let's see what do we got in the lab we could go like barbs or archers which will help our heroes uh but i think i want to go with clone spell because i've been using electro malo a lot on this account uh which we covered this earlier in the week or maybe last week i think it was but we've been doing electro lalo so we'll go ahead and we'll get that up and then let's get some upgrades going here as well uh Let's see. Honestly, I think I want to go for value here. I think we want to get, like, as many of these upgraded as possible. The Elixir Collector. So let's get these bad boys upgraded here. Oh, yeah. That's that's nice. And let's, let's see. Do we have something worth, like, five, four million? Oh, we're just short uh, of, like, of a... Of a we're, we're just short of some... But we can upgrade a bomb or something. Yeah, let's upgrade a giant bomb. That's the nice thing about having all those traps to upgrade. They're really cheap. So hopefully this video was nice for you guys. I know I had a good time making it shout out to travis for bringing this to my attention that some people just don't even know what the super troops are thank you guys so much for watching you guys have a great day keep on clash bashing while wow, you watch that whole video here's another video that youtube thinks you'll like and here's a playlist of similar videos